Hello again, and welcome back to Prophecy Truth Today. I'm Linda Cambeek, and I will be your speaker today. We're going to be studying more about the beast from the sea. We're going to be talking about the seven religious heads and 42 months. should you study prophecy? Some people saying it's so boring and nobody can understand it. But we study it because we know that Bible prophecy gives us hope about the future. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. We need to understand these last day tactics and the mentality of our enemy. As Corey Ten Boom pointed out, the first step on the way to victory is to recognize the enemy. To be forewarned is to be forearmed. The Bible uses the imagery of soldiers and war to describe the Christian life. In 2 Timothy, the Apostle Paul urges Timothy, Endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. And Paul also wrote, I have fought the good fight. I have kept the faith. We face a formidable foe. Martin Luther had it right when he wrote his great hymn, A Mighty Fortress is Our God. For still our ancient foe doth seek to work us woe. His craft and power are great and armed with cruel hate. On earth is not his equal. The Christian life has never been easy, but John wrote to encourage us, You are of God, little children, and have overcome them. Because he, Jesus, who is in you, is greater than he, Lucifer, who is in the world. God is your refuge and your strength. One more thing about the little horn power. He, the Pope, shall speak blasphemous or pompous words against the Most High. So we have one head speaking blasphemous words against God. Then I stood on the sand of the sea, and I saw a beast rising up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and on his horns ten crowns, And on each of his seven heads, notice the plural, heads, a blasphemous name. Seven heads speaking blasphemy against God. The seven heads in Revelation 13.1, going from our clue that one head was speaking blasphemous names and all seven are speaking blasphemous names, They must all be religious in nature. With one head, with a blasphemous name, is the Pope. But who are the other six heads? The Bible says that all seven heads had a blasphemous name on their head. Let's see if we can find candidates for the seven blasphemous religious heads. This could be one of the candidates. There are 1,800 million Muslims in the world. Now this would be a good place if you're interested in knowing what they believe to look on the internet or pause this and, and read our brief summary. Catholicism, about 1,200 million. And we've already identified this one. This one was the wounded head. Hinduism has about 1,200 million people believe in Hinduism. 
The Protestants. There are 800 million Protestants in the world. Buddhism, 540 million. Eastern mysticism, about 500 million. Atheism, about 500 million. Judaism, approximately 14 million. And heathenism, approximately 20,000. These are the major religions in the world. And I think we could take these top seven that would fit our bill. So the first sevens add up to 6,540 billion people. So the seven heads represent the seven major religions. And these seven heads represent seven global religions that speak blasphemous words about God. Okay, so based on what I have learned, where in this timeline do I put the composite beast of Revelation 13.1? I think it belongs there. Let me explain. I have no choice but to place the Revelation 13, 1 beast with one head that seemed to be healed. Well, it has to be after the deadly wound was inflicted in 1798. And since it's not completely healed, even today, it has to be after 2020 when the composite beast emerges from the people groups on earth, how long will he be given authority by God? Revelation 13, 5 says, and he, the composite beast, was given a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies, and he, the composite beast, was given authority to continue for 42 months. Oh, continue for 42 months. Let's see, if there's 30 days in a month, that's 1,260 days. And if we use a day for a year, that would be 1,260 days equals 1,260 years. So if the beast arrives in 2020, he will continue for 1,260 years into the future? Whoa, that means it will be the future year of 3,280. Does that sound like the end of time to you? It doesn't to me. So let's use a different time formula. Let's use a day for a day. 30 days equals, in a month, equals 1,260 days. And using this key for a day for a day, 1,260 days equals 1,260 days. So if the beast arrives in 2020, he will continue for about three years, a little more than three years. Remember that the tribulation or the end of time lasts for 1,335 days for the end of time. And it seems much more possible than 1,260 years. Okay, here is our composite beast. Revelation 13, 1. Then I stood on the sand of the sea, and I saw a beast rising up out of the sea. It had a leopard body, bear claws, lion's heads. These indicate that this sea beast comes from people groups. 
The papacy in the Catholic Church is represented by the head that was mortally wounded, but the deadly wound was healed. The seven-headed sea beast represents seven global religions, and each religion has a blasphemous name, and these will rule for 1,260 days. The ten horns and crowns are ten regional rulers installed by Lucifer. The entire time of trouble will last 1,335 days. We still have some open questions. What causes the sea beast to rise from the sea? What does the sea beast do when he arrives? Who controls the sea beast? Oh, we'll leave these questions for future studies. We hope this Bible study was a blessing and gives you food for additional study. May God richly bless you 